よが恋した君は綺麗だわおわおwelcome in i am zordon of doom i'm a singer songwriter and i make content here on youtube i also stream on twitch and i have music up on spotify apple music if you would like to check it out all links are down in the description but if you are here today you know that today is whimsy wednesday in which i react to whatever tickles my fancy much like fandom friday but it could literally be anything because it's called whimsy wednesday <laughs> So as I said last Wednesday and Friday, this reaction is going to be more be first, specifically the dance practice and the dance performance for Blissful. Blissful, for those who don't know, is be first's new song. And for those who are not familiar with be first, be first is a J-pop group that are extremely talented and are under BMSG. I highly recommend checking them out if you want to listen to some new music. They've sort of dabbled in a few different genres up until now. So if one song doesn't tickle your fancy, maybe another song that they've done might. But yeah, I am really excited to check this out specifically because we don't really get to see their choreography in the music video. They're very loosely dancing and it's very cute. It makes sense for the video, but I am so curious and so interested in seeing what it looks like when they're just going in on the choreography. So it looks like the dance performance for the most part takes place up on the roof where you can see the skyline. We shall see. I'll be reacting to it in the order that the Be First official YouTube uploaded it. So, so blissful dance performance is first and then we'll hop on to the dance practice. I will also be reading your guys's comments from last week. I'm really excited to hear what you guys think and how excited you are for the tour, both the dome tour and the world tour. But I digress, here we go. I cannot wait to see what the full choreography looks like. I'm also really interested in how it looks on stage as well, because it's going to be different. But for the most part, I think we'll see it the way it should be right here. All right, here we go in three, two, and one. Oh my gosh, this is such a good skyline. Also, the fact that they're against the light. This would have to be one take because of where the sun is. Unless this is a green screen, which I doubt it. I love this. The choreo is so playful. But where it needs to be technical, it's technical. Oh, I guess this 
is meant to be in a circle. did this a few times because that ending scene is different from the music video because it's Ryoki that's going all out right here <laughs> I love it wait okay now I kind of want to check in the music video where the sun is because it's perfectly what do you call it situated in the sky for the video so much so that it's making me think that the background's not real <laughs> but the sun is so bright it's hard to really see their more technical moves the little details sort of get lost because of the brightness of the background but it's really cool because even though small details are lost it has a really nice effect because it darkens just the silhouette of them dancing is really cool I opened up the music video. You look at this, the sun seems to be in a different spot, right? There's more clouds versus this, where the sun is like directly behind them. This is definitely a different time of day. I'm thinking this is sunset. I'm like, did they at any point use this footage for the music video? It doesn't look like it because everything is lit like this bright blue, which I think is really smart of them to do. It's a fresh take and they really counted on the sun being exactly where it is for the dance performance. They chose golden hour. It's a much warmer tone compared to the actual music video. You can see this is more blue. It's less saturated, whereas the performance is much warmer, which I think is really cool. Alrighty, up next we have blissful dance practice. Without the sun in the background, I should be able to see more of their moves. I think the performance video was very aesthetically pleasing, but now I'm here for the nitty gritty. <laughs> All right, here we go. In three, two, and one. It looks like they're having fun. Come some more time, money's on cocktail. Oh, cats, bats, or all shit. I couldn't. No way to say it. Pokala, no kinoni, but you got one. I call it's not the give me to him. I'm going out, I'm going out, I'm going out. The levels. Oh my gosh, they did the. I just saw that.
dance, hey, cheers in that, me dance in that, I saw me took a soul to like it in the park. I know you're following your own soul. Make it let the door then go. last part they sort of add it to the choreo where they're just messing around throughout the entire choreography there are bits where they can be themselves there's a part where Monato jumps out and then Sota approaches him like oh what are you doing it's cute those tiny interactions make it so likable it's serious choreography they're doing it but they're doing it in a way where they're having fun. They're making it their own. It's not rigid, if that makes sense. And the bit at the end where they just go off, the playfulness makes it so likable. And the song is already good, even without the choreography. But I think the music video, the choreography, the way that we first interact with one another truly makes this song so much better. Look at their smiles. They are smiling at the end of the song. They're smiling, they're goofing off, having fun. It gives off this feeling of improv, like they're improving, and the rest of the group is like, oh, what are they gonna do? Or what what's gonna happen? And I think genuinely, you can tell that each of the members is proud of one another and they wholeheartedly support and just wanna uplift each other. And that's what I really love about Be First. It's definitely their chemistry. And like what I said before, there's certain moves that I think have been done so much. And even in dance today, you don't see as much because sometimes it can come off as cringy. You got the dab. It's likable. It's not cringe. Alrighty. I'm going to read some of your guys' comments from my reaction to Blissful, the music video. There's a comment here from Amichi Amichi who says, thank you for your reaction. It's a really cute MV that shows how close they are together. I love both the song and the MV. Me too. I think this song is a really good addition to their concert lineup. After having such hard songs where they're going 100% like mainstream, hush hush, a song like Blissful where they can sort of relax, be themselves, have fun, is a perfect way to keep it fresh and also give themselves a breather. There is a comment here from Kiniku H who says, Thank you for always giving me the best reactions. I hope their world tour comes true. Me too. I really, really want to see them live. Hopefully when they do their world tour, they do come to California. More likely than not, it's going to be in LA, but I would love them to come up to Northern California, maybe San Francisco, a little bit closer to me. In any capacity, I want to be able to go. There's a comment here from Ichan who says, I feel like there's going to be a surprise concert at the end of the tour. 
so I'm excited. That you're good at surprises. What do you mean by surprise at the end of the concert? Maybe like an appearance? Possible that after they finish the dome tour, they will announce the world tour as well. So maybe that's the surprise. Here's to hoping. <laughs> All right, there is a comment here from Pikichi who says, thank you for your reaction. They are dancing loosely, but their choreography is so cool. And I'm very happy to see them enjoying New York. Me too. I think the last time I was in New York, I was really, really young. So I would love to go back one day. Manata was taught how to shoot by Ray Allen, who was invited as a guest when there was an NBA event in June in Japan. Monato has no experience in basketball, but he loves the NBA and is very familiar with it. Interesting. Oh, that's really cool. That's why they have like that basketball scene. I was surprised that there were posters of the Dome Tour and the World Tour in this MV. There may be this poster somewhere in New York. That's what I was thinking, PKG. I don't know if there's any bestie out in New York that can confirm or deny. If I was in New York, I would 110% look for this location. This fall, they decided to sing the end song of One Piece. I'm also really looking forward to that too. Oh, what? They did the theme song for the One Piece card game and now they're doing the One Piece ending song as well. Just feels like more and more be first is ramping up and we get to see more of what they can do. And it seems to be stuff that they really love and are passionate about as well. Thank you so much for all of your comments. You're absolutely fantastic. And thank you for sticking to the end if you are still here. Keep being amazing, keep being fantastic. Don't forget that no matter how it is you are feeling, you are a W-E. S-O-M-E-Y-A-W-E-S-O-M-E. -E -E. And I'll see you in the next video. All right, guys. Bye-bye.